Are you ready for our story today? Today's story is the story of the Holy Family. This is the Holy Family. Sometimes when you see something like this, it is not for children to touch. It might break easily, so you need to ask if you can touch it or work with it. This Holy Family is for you. It is for you to touch and work with. You don't need to ask to work with it. This is the Christ child. He is holding out his arms to love you. This is the mother Mary. Here is the father Joseph. Here is the donkey that Mary rode when she and Joseph went to Bethlehem to be counted by the Roman soldiers. Mary was about to have a baby, so it was hard for her to walk. Sometimes she rode on the donkey. It's also hard to ride on a donkey when you're about to have a baby. So sometimes she got down again and walked. This is the cow that was in the stable when the baby was born. He was surprised to find a baby in the feed box, the manger, where he usually found his breakfast. Here is the shepherd who saw the great light in the sky at night. There were more shepherds than this, but we will put down one to remind us. Here is a sheep. There were also more than one sheep, but we will put down one to remind us. When they saw the light in the darkness, they were afraid. I would be too. Then they heard singing. That scared them too, until they heard the words. The angels sang that they came to bring peace on earth and goodwill to all people. Run, hurry, go to Bethlehem. Something has happened there that changes everything. Here are the three kings, the wise men. They were so wise that people thought they were magic. In their language, they were called the magi. And that word is the word from which we get our word, magic. They knew so much that people thought they were magic. And of all the things they knew, they knew the most about the sky. One day, they saw the wild star. The Magi knew where all the stars were supposed to be in the sky. But this star moved. This star was not on their maps of the sky. So when it moved, they were curious and followed it. It led them to the stable where the Christ child was born. The wise men brought with them gifts for the Christ child. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Here is the little baby reaching out to love you. He grew up to be a man and died on a cross. And that is very sad, but it is also wonderful in an Easter kind of way. Now he can reach out and give the whole world a hug. He is not just back then in this place or that place. He is everywhere and in every time. Here is the baby Jesus. Here is the mother Mary. Here is the father Joseph. Here 
is the donkey that Mary rode on. Here is the cow that was so surprised in the morning. Here is one of the shepherds and one of the sheep. Here are the wise men, the three kings, the magi. This is the holy family. And when we're back together, you can work with these figures anytime you wish. In our classroom, they are for you. I wonder which part of the Holy Family is your favorite. I wonder which part of the Holy Family is the most important. I wonder if you've ever seen part of the Holy Family in your house or in our church. I wonder if you can remove any part of the Holy Family and still have all we need. And that's our story. <laughs>